<laughs> what an incredible oh. weekend, gentlemen. Oh. Um, let's 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 show. Let's talk about it, man. Let's let's bring out what happened. What was so exciting of this weekend? Well, you know well, what happened this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's start off with potentially nah, not really. But the best part of the weekend, uh, NXT so. takeover. You know what? <laughs> I expected to say that wholeheartedly, uh, but unfortunately, it was the first uh, NXT takeover in a while that wasn't great because Bro. of one match. Which one you get? Which one was it? Me and yeah, me and there was too many botches, man. It was a sloppy match. Uh, the chemistry was rough there. They they finished it up well. Yeah. But it was just, uh, we'll get into it in a little more detail, but we that know ruined what, it as a whole. We know what match stole that pay per view. Oh, come on, talk about it. And it wasn't the men. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. That was definitely threw match, out a bang. Match of the year. Yo. Match of the year. Match Yo. of the year. Yo, it's, the, it's in there. Think about this the arena was exploding, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That that that's probably the biggest pop. That chemistry was on point. Because nobody expected it to be that good. Uh, I expected every Woo! card, every match on the card to be good. Yeah. But, yeah, not. I didn't think spe- specifically that one. I, th- I didn't expect that much from I that. I didn't expect that. was a surprise of the week. Uh, I mean, you started off with the NXT Tag Team Championship match. Street Profits Yo, versus uh, Undisputed. I'm going to give And shut the us down me. early in the first. Yeah. Because we, we, go- we had all the gold even with Undisputed. That's what we had thought, folks. <laughs> that wasn't the fucking case. Listen. Kudos to fucking Street Profits for going in the ring, bro. Like, yo, they're improving every time they're in the ring. And this was a big fucking match. You're going up against the fucking two-time champions, right? Where where everybody's feeling they're going to leave with all the gold. And, yo, they, they fucking stepped up. It was yo, a hell of a match. Hell of a match. It's on me, Um And then it's they just show up on SummerSlam the next night. <sighs> Dude, I if, when they come up, like, they're not going to get the same time. That they had in the ring that they had in NXT, so you won't be seeing them do these high crazy shit. No, nah. it's just unfortunate, man, that you're not gonna see them be perform that I mean, way. I mean, let's after see. They come up. Let's see, right? Because they make me think of Edge and Christian, right? Well, all uh, the comedy, right? Comedy and, backstage, but they also shit. took big bumps. Paul Heyman is high on hey, them, though. Hey, he you likes know what I'm it. No, no. I mean, I, it's clear. Even Vinnie Mac himself. Likes yeah, but the, the the way they throw down in NXT ain't the same way that they throw down on Raw. Or it's on SmackDown. not, and that's the change a lot of people have to go through. Yeah. Right? That's why a lot of talent uh, are, are not. You know, look, look at fucking Bobby Roode, bro. How, how how are we how are we having a pay per view weekend in Toronto? And you telling me you can't get Bobby Roode on screen time until fucking Raw? Yo, they said here. Come out on Raw. You know what I'm saying? That yo, he could even come out on NXT, yo. My repeto, my repeto. Yo, let him smack around fucking Matt Riddle. <laughs> right? You yo. know, they get smacked around. Ooh, who was it? The Velveteen Dream, Roger Strong, <laughs> and <laughs> Pete Dunne. Yo, don't smack the shit out of each other, yo. That, that might be my favorite, one yeah. of my favorite matches. Bro, that was a fucking triple threat. Oh that, was match. that was a match. That was a match. That shit was gold. We it expected great, it to. Man. I mean, we, we called it, but... I mean, could you not with the, with all the talent that's in there, man? You got Roger Strong, Pete Dunne, these guys. Velveteen Dream on his way. I thought he would have lost just to you know branch up, like you said, for yeah. the for the main title for the now. Main title, this. but nah. I yo, not for nothing, yo. Rocking. Yo, Roger Strong, bro. You see, I'm quickly becoming a big fan of this guy, yeah, bro. bro. The he's things he does in the ring for his size, bro. And he's a technician in the ring, bro. He, ah, oh, man. Those PWG errors. Reminds man. me a little bit of Malenko, bro. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, bro. Oh, SMA, Malenko, bro. bro. It, it just, I can see it. The way they move in the Woo! ring. The way they, they, they march around the little ring, one. like, with purpose. You know what I mean? Like, he's always doing something. He's always picking an ankle. He's always doing something. Speaking of ankle. Fuck. <laughs> but, yo. <laughs> Shayna Baszler. Stupid idiot. <laughs> versus. <laughs> me and him. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Shayna Baszler match? Yo. It wasn't Shayna's fault, folks. No? Mia? Yo. She's not ready? I've had, ready? I've had this conversation with multiple people, yo. I had this conversation fucking on Sunday night when we had our viewing party. Shout out to all those that, you know, hey. came out to the viewing party at Rockefeller yo, Sports Bar and Grill. Thanks for showing really up. enjoyed. Man. Great time. Great watching time. Watching SummerSlam. People. Many shots. Many of food. Many of drinks. Many oh, of trivia. Many of prizes given away, folks. Uh, yeah, join they, us at the next somebody one. Somebody walked out with that damn Amazon thing, y'all. Ooh, y'all, about Amazon. I was looking at it. Yo, you need help walking down the street because I wasn't, you know. But nah. all right, all right. Don't. <laughs> but I got my Roku at home. Nah, nah. But yo, make sure to join us for all out Saturday, August thirty first. Cuando, cuando? Saturday, 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 Saturday. August thirty first at Rockefeller Sports Bar and Grill. 
You know what's up Brother from New Jersey Holla Ya regreso football loco And you know that shit Began in Pacto Sunday So we, we went Saturday man. We, It was oh, Saturday And <laughs> hey, you know what <laughs> They don't give Sabado Gigante no more no, So no, we're good So we're good we're Yo good. so if we're you're good. not going away For fucking Labor Day weekend bro Come join us Come hey. watch fucking All Out With the bad guys Remember this is the last Pay-per-view Before the debut On TNT That's right, right. That's, That's right There's gotta be a big one And there's gonna be And where they gonna be at They're gonna be They're gonna be watching And one of the best it rivals, you know, our area, but one of the best wrestling countries in the world. Chicago. Chicago. Chi Town. Chirac. See him, not. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, folks. You think he's coming back? King? I don't know, man. You know who I think? Who you think, yo? Adam Cole, baby! Damn, he had no trust in you, pretty chubs. He had no trust. I had yo, trust. That I got match it. was fucking great, bro. Yo. I, I didn't think they could pull it off three times, yo. I, I didn't think this match would. I would like. I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I've seen what they can do, right? Listen, I, I'm not going to lie. Before this match even started, I was like, fuck, man. I'm kind of like over it. Yeah. It was yeah. like it was like Gargano versus Champa. It's right. like, yeah, you, could, yeah, you, you, you yeah. think it's you like, were going to see something but new or bro. anything. But you, know, but you know why? You know why I feel that happens? Because there's such big spot monkeys, right? For lack of a better yeah. word, that like you see so much in the matches they already have. So to repeat it, you like it's almost the same thing over and over again. But they did a fucking fantastic job with this match. It didn't feel like recycled shit. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Spots. These these two wrestlers are are top of the line. Yeah. But what gets me out of it is the fucking false finishes, bro. It's yeah. too many. It's a lot. Too, too, yeah. too many. It's too many. It gets it gets you know repetitive after a while. I, I think I think the wrestlers do it purposely to get Mauro fucking excited and and the point of a <laughs> connection, Yo, for real. Right? But that ending though, <laughs> that ending, you know, that ending had <sighs> us like this. Yeah. Yo, holy yeah. shit. Yo, great. But they only broke one table. One table. Yeah. But I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. So, so what else we gonna take? Yo? So so we had a good time. But wait, we, how the fuck are you gonna go move forward without fucking finding out how many sucres we're gonna give NXT Takeover, yo? Yo, how many sucres are we giving this joint? Ladies and gentlemen, for those that you may not know, our our very own Pretty Chubby Flacco decides how many sucres he's we about got the to give. Sucre rating system. Yes, sir. As you know, a hundred sucres means perfection, right? A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. How many sucres am I giving NXT Takeover mm. Toronto? Now let me see. Between the flippity flop here and it's the flippity flop folks. over there. <laughs> a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. I'm giving this pay per view a. Eh, oh, for today, bro. 90 sucres. Ooh. 90 sucres. So you give that one a better rating than 88. Who was it you gave 88? 88. That was, was the last eight. Was it Fight for the Fallen? I think so. Yeah. So this was better. NXT Takeover was better than Fight for the Fallen. Two Sucre is better than I Fight mean, for the Fallen. I mean, and mind you, this was the first NXT Takeover that I see that had a, a kind of a whack match. This is this yeah. is wow. this is a little preview of those Wednesday Wars. Yeah, yeah, that's Man. exactly that's what that's a beautiful All segue, right. bro. That's, that's what we're preview. previewing right there. That's the competition, folks. NXT versus AEW. That's the bread Woo! and butter right there. Little boo. <laughs> so far. <laughs> Yo, NXT, NXT, bro. NXT AW, let's see point. what you got, yo. Let's see what you got. NXT. Let's see. We got to see. We can't wait. All right, so what happened? So, SummerSlam. So let's see what we had. So absolutely nothing happened this 2017, so 2017 uh, SummerSlam fucking <laughs> card. <laughs> uh, we kicked off with Drew Gulak and Oni Lorcan. You know? These guys had a banger. It was all right. I didn't I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I got there late. So. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Gulak retained though. So. Drew Gulak retained. I mean, it was it was it was what it was. It, it was the match you believed it was going to be when you saw Orny Lurkin on the card. He's a great tag team partner. I I just don't know the singles. I'm not sold on him. Wait, uh, who, but it, who was that again? Who? Who who did uh, Drew Gulak fight? Orny. Or, Orny. Orny. Oh. Who the fuck? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just playing. I'm I playing. thought he was playing me. Shout out to one, <laughs> one and two, baby. One Folks, and two. Folks, I was treading one lightly. I was treading lightly. I thought he was trying to play me. <laughs> 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 but Buddy Murphy, and, and what begins to be like the ascension of his rise at this point, bro. Uh, oh, we'll talk about Buddy Murphy. All right. Defeated what? Apollo Crews. You'll be hearing that name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. He's no longer going to be on yeah, kickoff shows. Yeah, but he did not look like a winner in this one. Nah. Nah. My man Rowan came out and sliced and diced him through pretty that freaking Pretty much, pole. pretty much. So we open Snitches off. Snitches get stitches, yo. Hey. Oh, so we had a woman's tag team match on the kickoff, right? That's yeah, right. That Alexa Bliss thing. and Nikki Cross defeated so uh, up, right? the Iconics. Yeah. The Iconics. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. Uh, yeah. 
It was okay. Uh, yeah. it, that match was what I thought it was going to be. They are who we thought I they I will are. say, though, I, I like the way uh, Nikki and Alexa are, are holding Eric the straps. Not down with that. You know what I mean? Alexa got that shit, and Nikki's at the bottom holding the, the strap on the bottom. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. They still need to come up with a, with a name. Yeah. Or they just need to break them up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's do it, yo. Let's do it. The, 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 fir- the first mess up in my prop bets for oh. DraftKings. Uh, oh, the shout women's out to Draft title. <laughs> for the bro. Raw, raw the women's, women's title. title championship. Dude, Becky Lynch yeah. versus uh, Natalia. Yeah. A steal. Don't fucking match. Don't match. Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't see why they opened it with it because I would have gone. You know, I would have held it for a little longer, like. I would have made it be later in the card. Yeah. Not the yeah. first match. But, it's, I mean, it's not a good look when bro, you have to go that if you, ain't, if you ain't going last, guess what? You want to go first. <laughs> this is true. That's true. I, that's yeah. true. They, all, they, they do say that. That's true. Becky Lynch the match. And, and, you want to start off, bro. And, that, it, that's the way you started the night. And that's, that's a missing it. match. And it was great. It was a great match between both of them. And that's the bottom shout line. Out, what? Shout out to the sharpshooter from Uncle Brett in the yo, corner. Yo, yo. That was a dope little spot right there. They went back and forth. Um, I feel like they gave uh, Natalia like creative range in this match. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, this is where she thrives. You know what I mean? She's a technician in the ring. They weren't scared to kick each other in the balls. You know? No, I mean, no, no, no. And elsewhere, figuratively. And then we move on to the the biggest comedia de mierda. Wow. The biggest waste of time that I have seen ever put upon the human race. Uh, you had Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. The impromptu legend match. And, and what became to be a, 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 I don't understand what the fuck Ziggler was trying to do. I guess he wanted the fans to get more of Goldberg. So you have your prototypical Goldberg match where he comes down, kicks his ass. Uh, I mean, he didn't hit his head on the locker this time. He, did, the he, did, I mean. he did. He learned. He's learned. And he didn't He's get wiser. concussed on the ring post. You're right. You're right. <laughs> And he, he didn't, didn't want him dropping Dolph Ziggler. And, and he didn't super kick nobody in concussion. And after but a few spears, what happened to Dolph Ziggler? Samuel! And then he come, came back to life. He thought he was the Undertaker. He's been fucking doing improv so much that he fucking forgot who he was. And decides to grab a mic and say he wants some more. Who gave a chance to apologize? <laughs> to absolutely nobody. Exactly. And, and, and then he did it again and then again and again. You know who else did it again? So you technically saw three Goldberg matches, folks, on SummerSlam. <laughs> for real. Three for the price of one, folks. Yo, now that we're speaking about Goldberg and Spears and this, yo, shout out to Edge. For being on the kickoff. Yo, where Yo. my man Edge came through. Yo, you know what? Edge, Edge, bro. He he speared uh, Elias, right? He speared Elias, but you know what? Like that shit was whack. <laughs> you know why? Because uh, I think it was Taz on his podcast this week. He said, "Yo, that's a perfect opportunity for somebody that needs a little bit of a push to get some airtime." Bobby Roode. Bobby fucking Roode, who's from Toronto. Yo, the dude was was on Twitter, Damn. bro. Fucking Yo, watering he his was, plants. He, he was like, watering see, Edge there was dope. I loved it. it. Was dope, but when you bring course. that shit up like that and you start th- talking, you know thinking like that, yeah, like I think guess. about how many people would have popped for fucking Bobby Roode, yeah. and, and especially the way he came out on Raw. Or was it SmackDown they came out? I forgot uh, which one. Raw, Raw, Raw. Yeah, you know I mean the way he came out, he has the, the the beard back, right? Yeah. Looking, he doesn't have that porn stash no more. Nah. It looks good. Looks that good, Robert. Good. Looks good. But uh, yeah, we had that happen. Uh, AJ then, Styles defeats Ricochet. AJ Styles Ricochet. What you guys think? Those are, uh, Shout out to the club coming out in old paint, right? Yeah, nothing new here though. I mean, I like the finish where he did it off the, you know. We've seen it too much at this point, right? Yeah. Wasn't. Yeah. We've seen that finish before. Where yeah. have we seen that finish before? Ooh. Damn, now you're teasing me with that sexy look in your eye. Wasn't it with Offspring? Limosillo. Limosillo. Right. I got the Limosillo, right, folks. Top rope. Straight from the Bronx. G1, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm going to give you a G1. Mm. Oh. Hey, hey, Ricochet. Hey, Ricochet. Ricochet. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey defeats Ember Moon. Did anybody not see this coming? Woo! Uh... I don't know, man. It was a good match. I enjoyed it. Beautiful women wrestling. Technicians, right? I, could go in the ring. I had no problems with it because I expected Ember to lose. I do have problems with SmackDown, but you will get there. Okay, um, that's fair. Uh, Kevin Owens defeated Shane McMahon. What uh, do you think, folks? Come what do you on. think? It was an okay match. Really quick. It was quick for what it was worth, and I, I, I didn't mind it too much because of that. Um, I'm... Kind of growing on the stunner. Yeah, you are. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're a disgrace. I, I'm alright. I'm alright with it. Uh, I I'm just, forcing myself to do it. It's though. just I'm I not can't. Lying. I'm I, forcing I, myself to love that stunner. And that's I'm the bottom t- line. <laughs> 
I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> This watching this match uh, made me realize. Okay, I cannot take too many more of these Kevin Owens Shane McMahon matches. No, nah, I think nah, I got one in, or two it. in the that's chamber, it. and like not a pay per view. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be done. Class with the of shit. champions, shit. we should be on to another feud. Let's be done with the shits. Yeah, guys. I mean? be done with we, the we shits. might get another Kevin Owens McMahon. We might. Speaking we might. of the shits, Charlotte Flair versus oh Trish. God. Was this one of the shits? Yo. In this entire match, and I'm sorry, folks, but I thought a breast implant was gonna pop at some point. <laughs> in this hey match. I didn't. I didn't right. rewatch the match. Of course, we was it was at um <laughs> Rockefeller Sports Bar. <laughs> Rockefeller Sports Bar oh, Grill. Yeah. Oh, holding it down. Yes, brother, for New Jersey, um, folks. You know, mingling with the fans and stuff, giving out prizes and Shout all that Shout out to the Godfather. Shout out to Royal Money. Being Royal there. Money. You know, yes, yes, Monster yes. Factory's presence was out there. So yes, we thank sir. you for that wrestle Big that. things, big things. Um, but Yo, shout out to my number one fan, bro. Shout Ooh. out to my sister, Gabby. Yo, Gabby. Gabby. We love, we you, love Gabby. you, Gabby. Hey. We'll be featured soon. <laughs> we Ooh. love you, Gabby. For sure. For sure. Feature we got to get soon. you up here. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really watch too much of the match. I got to rewatch it again. But for what I saw, it was all right. Wasn't, I, mean, I didn't see nothing that was worthy of a botch or anything like that. So. Yeah. I mean, yo, listen, the match was what it was, right? It, it was for what we saw while we were at the, at the party, right? At the viewing party, we have uh, ladies that had watched wrestling in the 90s and the early 2000s, right? Ha- had recognized Trish Stratus and like, oh, that's Trish Stratus. Wow, she looks so different. Yeah, yeah. She's still wrestling. Day. You know I mean, that, that's what that match was for. Just like that's what the Goldberg in- insertion was, right? Get these old school wrestlers that people recognize. Let's get people back into the product, which is one of the interesting facts of maybe that's why they brought back King of the Ring. Right, yeah. they brought back King of the Ring to get some of the old people that enjoyed Woo! it. You know what I mean? We're about to go into these wars. We need steam. We need to bring people back. I like them bringing it back. I like it. We're gonna get um, into that. We'll touch on that more too. You also so need to build more stars, bro. You have to. You have to, and that's a perfect way. If to you want to compete. So, 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 let me ask you guys this question: Kofi versus Randy Orton. Pa que? Ten Did ten you, years you guys mad at it? I, I wasn't um, mad at this match. Pa que? He you've seen lose, it all. Bro. You've seen it, it all. Isn't, to be honest, it, it, it could have been Randy Orton or anybody else. He wasn't going to lose the belt you don't think at so? SummerSlam. So, Stop it, it could have been enough, anybody. Enough. So Because this is going to either be Xavier Woods or Big E. Yo, that would be nice. And finally, folks, we get what we've been waiting for. <sighs> the debut of The Fiend. Oh, okay. Ray I thought Wyatt. you were going to step to University. Yo. Oh. Yo, the the entrance that shook the fucking internet, yo, like yo. that skull was fucking. Cool. Al Snow yo, was like, man, "What yo, the fuck is that shit?" Yo, that shit was very Rob Zombie, yo. Like that was a fucking lantern, bro. Like Bray Wyatt, Mister Rotunda yourself. I need to find out where you got that shit because I'm <laughs> about to bring that shit to Halloween, bro. That Facts, was amazing. Yo, that's yeah, that's the number one cost to cosplay. Oh, absolutely. Yes, so everybody's gonna be dressed like that. I think HPC podcast. All of us are just dressed like fucking Bray Wyatt. Why not? Oh, Why you're not? You're so I've gained weight, folks. I'm, I'm there <laughs> at this point. <laughs> These so, kills. Shout out to Ballard. Jojo. It wasn't a squash, yo. Ah, but it kind of was. It was, but it, it lasted longer than what we thought. We yeah, thought. but, but we I didn't think it was a start. They had a, little, they had a little back and forth. A little bit, yeah, but like Finn Balor could do better than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they could. Why didn't they just make him like legit fuck him up, right? Like hurt him. Put him through some tables. You know what I mean? Like... Don't lose like that. Yeah, he, uh, Finn Balor got up after the loss. You know what I'm saying? And like, like, he didn't give me reason to believe he should need time off now. Yeah, it was a clean loss. So I, I don't know how they're going to write they needed him to off now. That was, th- this is a feud. A this is a feud they could have kept going. There's no need for a clean loss. You could have had Bray fucking demolish him through three tables. And, and you've seen Finn in pain, and that's it. That's how it writes off. And he disappears. You know what I mean? Speaking about disappearing... Wow. We have a new universal champion. The man's one my man. So you know <laughs> <laughs> The man's man, the man's the man. Man's the man's man. The man's man. Seth so Rollins. Rollins. So that means uh, Fox disappearing, right? He's yeah, gone. Yeah, you know his vacation time. Poof. Oh, he'll come back. He'll come back for SmackDown. So oh. October fourth. October fourth. Oh, Mark my word. What is it? San Francisco, San Diego. It's in LA somewhere, folks. Uh yo. It's it's he's gone for a bit. Uh, I, I was surprised. I didn't think he was going to win. I didn't see him winning. Especially after Mania. I mean, I didn't see uh, like the Brock like, being willing to he, lose again. He like did that. guarantee it on Raw last week. Hey, uh, yeah, but the yeah, way he looked, the way he and looked, it was just uh, like, I, could, I guess I guess I should have seen it coming. See, that's well, the way I, you don't I, do I the story. Did, I, don't know how, I don't know which way to go. They could have gone either way with this. I mean, the crowd, the Thank crowd, God was, they the crowd was behind him. Yeah, I mean, the he's crowd a was behind him when he won. Listen, 
uh, Seth Rollins is a fan favorite. At no point are we here saying Seth Rollins is Roman Reigns, right? Yeah. And, and not for nothing, Roman Reigns, like even here at HPC Too Sweet, folks, we've become Roman Reigns fans. Like, yo, after everything now, he's been performing better. Um, and they put him in some quality matches. We're going to talk about his matches. He's week. not being force-fed. It's not being force-fed, so. and I enjoy it. It's more palatable. You yeah. know what I mean? Seth Rollins was never that. He's always been – people have been fans of Seth Rollins. It's just stale, unfortunately. It's stale. It happens, bro. Well, keep showing us the same shit. All you did was Baron Corbin for two, three months. Now you did Brock yeah. Lesnar again. So yeah. Who has he fought that's new? AJ yeah. Styles a couple times for a Listen, couple of Raws? After, some, after a while, Hamburger Helper just fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Facts. 